With your first news at 5 Sports, here's J.T. Faribault. This afternoon, the Twins closed out their second series of the season against the Cleveland Guardians with an early afternoon game at Target Field. In their six games played against their AL Central foes this season, the Twins have won three and lost three. Today, they hope to split the difference. This one was very much so a pitcher's duel early on. Joe Ryan is pitching for the Twins with a 2-2 count. He'll blow a strike three pass draw, and Twins catcher Jeffers catch Brennan stealing second base. It's a double play for the Twins. Definitely one you don't see every day. Quite impressive there. This one stayed scoreless until the top of the seventh inning when Naylor, who's 0-2 on the day, blasts this one to right field. It bounces off the very top of the wall, and a big bounce allows Ramirez to score for an RBI double from Naylor. It's the first run of the game. Same inning, Jimenez at the plate for Cleveland. He crushes this ball to de dead center. It's high off the wall. Naylor will score from second best base, and Jimenez wants three, so it's an RBI triple for him. It's now 2-0 Guardians. In the bottom of the eighth, the Twins need something to get back into this game. It's Willie Castro up to bat. He struck this one all the way to center field and it reaches the bleachers. Castro gives the Twins something, but it won't quite be enough. Cleveland forces the split series. It's 2-1 to one in favor of the Guardians. After today's series between the Twins and Guardians wrapped up, here's a look at the ARL Central standings. The Twins sit atop the table with 31 and 29 record. Detroit sits three games behind them. The Guardians are in third, three and a half games behind them. The White Sox are white hot on a three game win streak. However, they find themselves five and a half games behind. And in last, Kansas City Royals, they have a little bit of work to do this season. The Bismarck Larks, they kicked off their 2023 season with a two-game series against the Duluth Huskies. The Larks won both of those games against the Huskies, outscoring them 15-9 across the two contests. Today, the Larks traveled to Duluth for their first road game of the summer. Getting things off against the Huskies once again, the Larks, they already have a 2-0 lead. Defending they had to do some of it here though. It's a sharp grounder to shortstop. Benjamin Rosengard flips it to Kai Horry at second who makes the throw to first. It's a 6-4-3 double play to get the Larks out of a jam. Now into the top of the third inning is Jackson Beeman batting for the Larks. The birthday boy, he cracks this shot to left field and it sails over the wall. It's a birthday bomb for Beeman whose solo shot makes it 3-0 Larks. Still in the top of the third, Third, it's Evan, J Evan Ames batting now. He's going to blast this ball into right field. It gets over the wall. It's another home run for the Larks, and this time it's a two-run shot from Ames. This game is in the seventh inning with the Larks leading 7-2. Former North Dakota State forward and Devils Lake graduate Grant Nelson is one of the top figures in the transfer portal. There's been a whole lot of buzz around the North Dakota native and where he'll be at the end of his NCAA eligibility. The 6'10 forward from Devils Lake participated in this year's NBA Draft Combine, but withdrew from the NBA Draft on May 30th. Nelson played for North Dakota State for three seasons, where he led the Bison in scoring, rebounding, and assists and steals this season. Nelson is one of the most sought-after players remain, that remains in the transfer portal, and he's set to make a decision on his future soon. This week, he's set to visit some of the nation's best college basketball programs, including Arkansas, Alabama, and Baylor, while he will most likely play one season before entering the NBA draft. That does it all for sports, though. We'll see you right back after the break.